Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oof. I wasn't expecting the nun to be like that. What's up guys, Curve here, back again with The Corridor. This is a part two of the first part. So if you haven't seen the first one, uh, which is called The Red Corridor 2, pl please make sure to check that out before you hit this one up. Anyway, thanks for dropping by guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this is The Red Corridor 3, Revelation. This is the last one of the Corridor series that this guy made, KDT91 on Dreams. It's about a girl named Abby Williams. In the hospital, I found her in a lot of spoopy stuff happened, so um, please make sure to check out the video before you hit this one up. And uh, like always, guys, let's get right to it. Well, it doesn't look like Abby hurt me. She tried to scare the fuck out of me, but she didn't actually hurt me. I think I'm I'm okay. There's actually like a lot of uh, actual things you can look up about residual residual hauntings or like someone not being able to pass over because of trauma and stuff like that. So it's pretty fucking crazy to see that kind of playing out in a video game. <gasps> Do I get to leave? <gasps> I'm leaving the hospital, guys. Look for notes and red lighting. For clues and guidance. Whoa. What the hell? Where am I? <gasps> Wait, is this Abby's house? No way. I'm going to help you, Abby. Well, walk while you have light, lest darkness come upon you. Is that like his way of saying that I'm on a timer? Because that would fucking suck. <laughs> but yeah, man, I may be a security guard, but she didn't know that on my off time, I'm a ghost hunter. What the hell? I hear footsteps. Close the door. Oh, I just noticed the cross. Damn. Whoa, dude, those footsteps are fucking on point. It really sounds like it's outside my room, too, dude. That's so trippy. Can I just go to the room? <gasps> I can just explore? That's awesome. Okay, this looks like a dining room. This actually looks real legit, though, this house. This actually looks really nice. Oh, come on. Why do ghosts always have to fuck with the kitchens, man? I was go. I was gonna make a comment about that knife over here, but it's a ghost, so it won't won't do anything. Oh no, <gasps> Jack, dude, I know you're watching. Look away, bro. That's exactly what you think it is. Oh my god, don't look, Jack. Just just fast forward, bro. Oh my god, that's a Ouija board. But, uh, yeah, Jack has this thing about Ouija boards. He, he doesn't fuck with it at all, so. <laughs> That's why I was kind of giving him the shout out, like, hey, look away, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Just fast forward. <laughs> what? Oh, shit, there's something on the Ouija board. Jack, look away again. Demons will come. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll just take this and walk away. I don't want anything to do with that witchy board. All right, Jack, it's safe again. Hmm. Yep, this is a bathroom. Q. And that's a toy. Jesus, do you need that many paper? Damn. Oof. That's just unsettling. <gasps> nope, I was right. Uh, hello? Close. Ah! Nuns. I knew it. You damn shady nuns. Oh, oh, bye. Bye. It was the nuns. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Whew. I wasn't expecting the nun to be like that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I say no to you, nun. I say no to you. So we're going to talk about what you did to Abby. Damn, bro, you are tall. You are a tall broad. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. I was expecting anything less. Of course she was going to jump out at me. God, that nun is freaky. Okay. Oh, I see a red light. Oh, no way. Dude. What the fuck? If you can't wake from this nightmare, you're not asleep. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Abby. Huh. Is she... Where's she going? I don't know, man. I don't think Abby's a bad spirit at all. I don't know why I'm so invested in the storyline, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, like, when you, like, get into a game and you get really immersed and stuff like that, like, when the story is compelling, it's really easy to kind of, like, fall into it, you know? So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that was, like, whoa, what the fuck happened in the room with the Ouija board? Excuse me? Can I not? Okay, well, I think maybe she was trying to tell me to go... To the bathroom? Maybe? <gasps> she is trying to help me. Mm, maybe I don't want to... I don't like clothes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <gasps> She's the one leaving me the notes. Save yourself. Get the hell out of here. Oh, that's, fuck. I wish I could. Ab. I wish I... Oh, no. They caught me Cuban key. <laughs> oh, she's gone. You see, yeah, she could have jumped out of me or something. Well, I didn't walk towards her because, you know. But she could, she could have harmed me, alright? So. Oh, but the nun didn't harm me either. Hmm. What? The front entrance door? What? Okay. I'll bite. <gasps> it's a red corridor. Oh, no. No, I don't like you. You're not a good spirit at all. Okay, I figured it out. I was supposed to go this way. Yo, what? The light of all lights saved me from beyond the dark. Yo, that's kinda, that's kinda, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, here we go. Why the fuck would I voluntarily turn off the lights? Oh, the boards came off of Abby's room. Damn, bro. Imagine, like, this is what ghost hunting was all about. That would be so crazy. That would take a toll on anyone, you know? Oh. Oh, shit. This is the living room from earlier, and there was a bookcase there, and now it's like a little doorway. Whoa. That is crazy. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. I'm not touching that thing. Mm -mm. Make the Y turn around. I hate you all y'all. Yo, no. Screw you nuns. Man, if I had holy water, mm, I would be... I'm going to Abby's room. You guys are dicks. 
Ooh. Ah. You're a dick. That's right, I said it. Yeah, Abby. I'm stuck. Oh, take note. <gasps> My soul is free. Thank you. Now leave before it catches you too. <gasps> yes, I freed her. Fucking a. 2020 sucks. <laughs> Here in the corridors, dark and deep, I promise you eternal sleep. Hmm. Well, the nuns are gone. That's a good sign. Well. <gasps> You're gonna fly at me, aren't you? Huh? Oh no. <gasps> oh, run! No! No! I'm tapping it like motherfucker. No, that's definitely my exit. Fuck, guys. Damn it, if only I had Ed's time crisis finger from the arcade, he'd totally be out of the door by now. Oh, I'm getting tired. No! Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. Dude, what's happening? I thought, didn't I end the curse or whatever? Oh, I see another red, red light over there. I think it's in the Ouija room. <gasps> hey, it's you again. cross is right side up now oh the cross is the right way now dude that was so cool oh my god that was so crazy i like how the first like the second one was just like kind of like a you know just like a slender man like game where you just pick up the items and stuff but dude this was pretty cool like i don't know i just like the story i thought it was neat and uh and when it comes to like ghosts hauntings and stuff like that like i really like that kind of stuff like i watch ghost adventures ghost hunters and fucking anything ghost pretty much i watch and stuff like that so it was really cool to see it like play out where it's like a good spirit and a bad spirit but you can't really tell the two apart because you know when it comes to hauntings it's like spoopy no matter what so i don't know i think he did a great job i had a load of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series so far, the part one and part two. And yeah, guys, so I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one.